Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's comic book review. Concluding this week's episode are my two favorite uh, comics of the week. One is comic of the week, and one is premiere comic of the week, and pretty damn good premiere. Peter Parker, number one. Finally, Peter Parker's uh, back in comics, leaving only one more Spider-Man title to go. The Sensational Spider-Man. We have Webb returned, we have The Amazing, and we're missing Sensational. I'm guessing Sensational come back if and when Amazing Spider-Man cuts down, but I hear now they're not going to be cutting down. They're going to be actually making more, so Sensational is going to take a while. Anyway, premiere issue was great. For those of you who get the digital comics or the comics via cell phone, this issue's story is actually from that. Uh, other than the cover art, the comic, the inside artwork is amazing. You get the actual story. As you can see, the artwork is... Let me find the picture of Spidey. You got good artwork. Finally, some nice artwork. It's passable. A good story. You know, yes, J. Jonah Jameson is still the mayor. You get a good story. And it's to be continued to the next part, of course. It's never a one-issue deal. Uh, you got these girls that want to go after this Liz girl that J. Jonah Jameson is sponsoring. And they figure, what better way than to catch the Amazing Spider-Man, which J. Jonah Jameson set a reward out for. So, and then after that, you get a nice little funny comic, I guess, of the of Spider-Man, or of Pete, not being actual Spider-Man, but of Pete. And there's also an advertisement in here, guys, I would like to make um, a little note on. Uh, Iron Man Legacy, a new, se not, a new ongoing Iron Man series. I will be checking this out. With all the titles I have, been, I have been dropping within the past few weeks, I will be checking out some new ones. That will be one of them. And then in the back you get a few little sketches, a few little, little letter to the editor and stuff. Great first issue. Can't wait for the next issue. Cover on the next issue looks really great. Finally, a Spider-Man title we can all watch, read, and enjoy. Okay. And with that, we leave you with one comic. The comic of the week. Once again, I mean, I'm sorry, until this series ends, which is next week, I doubt there ever will be anything different. Uh, Black, Green Lantern, Blackest Night tie-in, the final Blackest Night tie-in, number 52. The cover says it all. White Lantern. A white Lantern. <laughs> exactly. White Lantern, Sinestro. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. This is like a Dragon Ball Z episode, but it's good. Nothing much really happens in this episode, but you get background stories on all of the lanterns. So all the entities, you finally get to see them. Parallax, Ion, all of the different types of entities that are that make up the lanterns. And the funny the awesome thing is, Sinestro gets his ass cut in half by um, Necron, right? He gets cut in half by Necron, and you think he's dead? Well, guess what? Because he's a White Lantern, and White Lanterns are all about destiny and living, he gets pulled back together. As you can see in this page, by the little boxes. you got to follow the little boxes. He comes back together. Oh, wow. And I love... That looks so cool. Indeed. And then I love the last page. Going after Necron. White Lantern Sinestro. I have a feeling because the white entity is a good entity, uh, it's going to either make Sinestro a good guy now, an anti-hero, or after the entire Blackest Night, Brightest Day thing, Sinestro will go back to being um, a villain, or who knows? Who knows? Honestly, I you've been getting the feeling since... The Rage of the Red Lanterns that Sinestro was an ant was going to be an anti-hero. I think it's a great idea, to be honest with you guys. I'm enjoying him being like that anti -hero. Like, he's a hero, but at the same time, he has his own little agenda going on. I think the White Lantern thing is a good thing to entertain with Sinestro. Uh, as far as the Sinestro Corps, I have a feeling they're going to be turned into the Yellow Lantern Corps, take off Sinestro, uh, and uh, I have no idea. I mean, Pete from Pete's Basement was saying maybe Scarecrow will lead it. I think that would be interesting. The Scarecrow Corps? Maybe the Fear Corps or something. I don't know. But anyway, absolute comic of the week. You guys should be picking up Blackest Night. One more issue to go, and it's coming out this week for next week's comic book review, Blackest Night number 8. Okay, quick rundown, guys. One more time. Here we go. 
Green Lantern 52, if you have not been picking this up, where the hell have you been? You've got to catch up to Blackest Night. The pile is about this high of all the Blackest Night books you should have already. Peter Parker, number one. Great premiere. Absolutely pick it up. Superman, nine, 698. If you guys have been waiting to see Superman back in his own titles and back in a decent story, putting an end to the shit that is New Krypton, pick this up. Superman Batman 70, continuing All Worlds at War. Great story. Absolutely should be getting that. Thor, number five. 608, Siege Tie-In, pick it up, great, love ball stack. Mighty Avengers, three, uh, 35, one more issue to go with them. I'm enjoying the Siege Tie-In Avengers books. Speaking of the Siege Tie-In Avenger books, New Avengers, number 63, absolutely pick that up too. Amazing Spider-Man, 626, other than that little Michelle part, uh, I would say skip it. I just told you the big part. Michelle and him kind of make up. Deadpool 21, absolutely pick it up. Has Spidey in it. Come on, it's funny. Hit monkey. Deadpool Core, Prelude to Deadpool Core, number four of five. Better than part three? I'd say it's up to you. Deadpool Core, rank and foul, basically a secret file slash uh, encyclopedia of all the Deadpool heroes and villains and little people in between. Up to you guys. I'm being honest with you. If you know everybody, you don't need this book. Uncanny X-Men, Nation X. Number 522, Kitty Prize back. Absolutely pick this up. Captain America 604, it depends. If you like Bucky Cap, you'll be picking this up. Me, I'm done with it. The end. Halo Bloodline, part 4 or 5. If you like Halo, you'll grab it. If not, then you won't. The end. Also, a little mention for this week, guys. For those of you who are going to your comic book store, White Lantern shirts are coming out this week. Uh, they're selling out like crazy. I got my hands on one already. Well, I pre-ordered one already. White Lantern rings are coming out next month. Green Lantern and Flash Ring coming out, I believe, next month as well. Guys, hope you're ready. DC, I'm just getting a feeling DC Comics is really going to push Marvel's Heroic Age right out the door if Marvel plays the Heroic Age like I'm thinking they're going to play it as a money grabber. Because I'm telling you guys right now, like I said before, there are going to be no Heroic Age books on this review site. You want Heroic Age... Go to people who are going to be willing to uh, spend and possibly waste their money on all three or four of those titles. Uh, I will not be doing that. I will be sticking to the main superheroes. Um, starting up Teen Titans, like I said, because Superboy's back. Um, Booster Gold might be gone because Dan Jurgens is gone. Cap is gone now. Um, probably picking up the new Iron Man title. Starting off um, Deadpool Core, see how that goes. And Deadpool, uh, Merc with a Mouth, will be ending in another three months, so... We'll see where all these comic books take us. Next week is going to be a, not a, sh I would like to say a short week, only eight comics, but there's a lot of substance to a few of those comics. So guys, stick around, and I will see you guys next week. Also, go check out Peep's Basement. Where do I get my comics? Midtown.com. For those of you who don't have, a, like me, who don't have a comic book store in their neighborhood, Midtown.com Comics. Great website. Go check them out. Check out Peep's Basement. Check out the people that I am subscribed to that you can't see... You can see them all over YouTube doing figure reviews, comic reviews, uh, Marvel reviews, and everything in between. Like I said before, Anthony James, Hooliganism, Loot Thug, Century Productions, KJ Hulk, Red Hulk. Bunch of people. Too many people to list. Let me put it that way. Great guys. Um, miss talking to them on Skype. Hopefully I'll be back on Skype fully soon. Just so much work going on with comic books and everything else. Uh, Brooklyn Boys especially with uh, everything going on. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys next week for another comic book review. Stick around. Blackest Night finale next week. Catch you guys there.